James Charles, I am so done with James Charles. Oh, I am gonna go off on James Charles today. He needs to be put in a cage, all right? I am so done. That's what I'm talking about. It's like, <laughs> okay, okay. That's but, what I'm but saying. You're, like, but you're giving, you're not receiving. That's what it's different. You're, you're not, well, not I'm telling you. Oh, well, not always. I'm saying okay, this okay, okay. one particular, oh, oh, this one see, particular see, evening was, see, see, was just see, a see, giving. But... Story time on how I was one of James Charles' victims. No. This happened almost exactly three years ago now. I was 16. James Charles is getting exposed again for adding a minor to his Snapchat and there is definitely no way he can defend himself this time. From alleged incriminating screenshots of him knowingly texting a 16 year old to James even going as far as sending lewd snaps to this minor despite being aware of his age and then blocking said minor when he got confronted, this might just be a career ending moment for James Charles. Some people are gonna be like, why are you making this video right now? I'll tell you right now why because I have been seeing some stuff about him like unveiling a new palette or something like next week. And some people are like, I know he's controversial, but like his makeup is just so good. He's a fucking freak. Like he needs to be locked away. Now, recently a TikTok user by the name of Matthew Lawrence123 recently uploaded a video detailing his shocking encounter with James Charles when he was just 16 years old. Matthew talked about this scary moment in his life that happened three years ago when he had just turned 16. Matthew recalled how one day in November of 2020, he randomly got a DM from James Charles asking for his age. Matthew didn't think much about it because it was just a simple question about his age. Maybe James was interested in a collab or something, but Matthew quickly learned that wasn't the case. Matthew was a bit starstruck. A famous celebrity just DM'd him out of nowhere. Understandably, anyone would be in shock. So Matthew and James proceeded to exchange a few more DMs on Insta, where James Charles allegedly even joked about not wanting to catch a case for DMing a minor. Age check. Bow, 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 bow. You're thinking, could be harmless. He's just asking for my age. Um, yeah, it wasn't. After this brief encounter, Matthew assumed that it was over and it was just that, a weird encounter. But loves, he was so wrong. Matthew received a notification that James Charles had just added him on Snap. It was a bit confusing for Matthew, but again, he didn't think much of it. The two then snapped a few times for a couple of days until one day, Matthew received one of the most shocking snaps from James that just left him dumbfounded. Then I get this snap one day. Now, this is November 24th. 2020, uh, James Charles. I don't know if this was the actual snap. I don't have any screenshots of my snaps, but I opened this set and I swear to God, it was a full app pick of like him in a mirror, something, whatever. And I was just like, oh, what the fuck? Just days after James had DM'd him, Matthew says he opened a lewd snap of James Charles that left him in shock. Completely confused by this, Matthew confronted James and he asked him why he would send him a snap like that when they barely knew each other and, oh, he was just 16. Allegedly, James played it off and just said that he sent the snap to the wrong person or something and then quickly blocked Matthew. Um, but then he proceeded to add me on Snapchat. So this is 1023, so... An hour after this, or after I had responded to him and had the conversation? No. Again, you could just be like, oh, he could have added you on Snap before he got your age and thought maybe you were 18, like whatever. No, this was, I'm telling you right now, this was after that. Um, so you can believe that or not. To which he responded, what, <laughs> what did I send? I said, you just sent a child your app pic, actually. And then I kid you not, he said, oops, sorry. That was for my kitty girls group chat. Or maybe someone else, I don't know, sorry, blocked me immediately right then and there. Now loves, so that you can understand how shocked by this whole thing Matthew was, it took him almost three years so that he could talk about this story. And when he finally did, people were completely pissed off by James. Just take a look at these reactions when Matthew's story went viral. OMG, how many minors has James Charles tried to and has groomed at this point? I hope you're doing okay. James Charles is so gross and it's baffling how he is still in the influencer space. Why isn't James Charles permanently canceled? The older he gets and more time he gets away with it, the bolder and more experienced he will be. Classic predator psychology. But basically, he DM'd me that, and I responded and I said, I'm a very mature 16. Now I understand right off the bat, I shouldn't be talking like that. I should not be egging someone on like this, or like trying to like entice them. 
That wasn't my intent, I'm sure, but that's definitely how it came off. And I understand that now. But that being said, no matter what, I was a child and he was like 22. Like, and it was also James Charles. So you're 16 and you're seeing this and it's like insane. I I didn't know what to do. My brain was so like, it, it was empty. I had no thoughts going through. I had no idea what to do. I already said that, but it's so true. Loves, at first Matthew said that he was to blame because of what happened to him. Matthew thought maybe he felt that he should have been more stern with James Charles, but that isn't the case. James was the adult in the situation and he shouldn't have even DM'd Matthew in the first place. These accusations from Matthew come just months after James did an interview with Cosmopolitan talking about how he would like to be uncanceled. In the interview, James said that he has reflected on his journey to get to where he is right now and this is what he had to say. I don't want to sit here and fucking mope and whine and cry because nobody wants to hear it. I had to do a lot of thinking like, okay, babe, this isn't your fault. No, you're not a pet. Oh, no, you're not an effing groomer. No, you're not a predator, but you made a big mistake. Not gonna lie, it was extremely bold of James to refer to his previous allegations simply as a big mistake, considering that over 15 people have to date come out and accuse James Charles of having inappropriate encounters with them while they were just minors. And almost always, he seems to be using the same MO. Like when he got exposed by Isaiah, one of the first people to call him out for his inappropriate behavior towards minors, Isaiah recalled how James added him on Snap at first and how he was extremely extremely excited because he was a huge James Charles fan and he looked up to him. Uh, James Charles snapped me on Snapchat. He added me back because I had snapped him a while ago, just like a fan to influence your conversation. I was excited because he's my biggest influence, influencer wise, and he, I've always looked up to him. So I was excited to get his message back. However, just like Matthew, things slowly turned super weird with James. James started sending him lewd snaps and even going as far as asking Isaiah for inappropriate pics of himself. Isaiah even talked about how James Charles would go as far as to pressure him into sending inappropriate pics. Keep in mind, all this time, James Charles was fully aware that Isaiah was just 16. This is the notification that I got when he Snapchatted me first. And just for further proof, he deleted the chat. I don't know what he deleted, but that's me opening his Snapchat. To make matters worse, when Isaiah told James that he was uncomfortable with his snap, guess what James did? He allegedly continued to pressure Isaiah to send inappropriate pics and even began asking him to get on FaceTime so that they could talk. I went into the bathroom and I guess he saw the bathroom light. So he started making the conversation very sexual, really uncomfortable. And I'll post some of the stuff that he sent me now. You can't see it because it's blurry because I took it on my iPad because I didn't want him to see that I screenshotted it, but I'll post it right now. He proceeded to send me explicit pictures of his body. So after sending me that first picture of his body, um, explicitly, he sent me multiple after that, and I'll post them now. I was getting really uncomfortable, so I told him my age. I told him I'm 16. Meanwhile, he's 21. He's a grown man. And then he proceeds to say, oh, but I didn't even get to see the, yeah, meaning my body. And after telling him, like, no, like, I'm not going to send it to you, he kept on asking for pictures and videos of body hair and me flexing and stuff. He proceeded to ask to FaceTime me, which I then said no to, and then I asked why. And this is what he said. Now, when Isaiah's video exposing James started going viral, James took to Twitter to deny the claims that he made. There's a video going around about me on TikTok and Twitter of a guy calling me a groomer and I want to address it right away. The accusation that I have this person is completely false. I woke up to several snaps from this person being excited. I added him back saying he loved me and also lewd photos of himself in the shower. I asked how old he was right away and he told me he was 18. So I started flirting back. In the excitement of meeting someone, I thought could be potentially great, I didn't ask for a copy of his ID or passport. It's now clear based on the video he uploaded, he was taking photos of me with another device and he had an ulterior motive from the beginning. After false allegations like this in the past, I would have never knowingly engaged with anyone underage and put my life on the line for a few Snapchats. Because of situations like this, instead of taking someone's word for it, I will now ask to see an ID or passport of every guy I have a conversation with. It's sad to say that I can't even look up my biggest influence the same again. I've heard multiple stories about him doing this to people, but you never believe it until it happens to you. So now I'm a big believer of what James Charles does to other people. And it sucks because he has so much going for him and he does this to himself. Now 
looking back on this statement from James Charles all these years later, it doesn't look like he changed too much because despite him asking Matthew his age first and Matthew clearly telling him he was 16, James continued to add him on Snap and sent him lewd snaps. However, James Charles hasn't just been called out for being inappropriate with just minor. Most infamously during his beef with Tati, James got exposed for getting inappropriate with straight guys despite them telling him that they weren't interested. Tati accused James of constantly trying to manipulate straight guys into thinking that they were into him. Oh my god, you tried to trick a straight man into thinking he's gay yet again. Tati remembered one instance during her birthday party where James saw a waiter and he thought he was attractive. So James then began to say inappropriate things to Tati about the waiter, but when Tati informed James James that the waiter was straight, James said he simply did not care. You were talking in detail about things you wanted to do to the waiter. And when I said, James, he's straight, your response was, doesn't matter, I'm a celebrity. So freaking gross. And you said that in front of my family, in front of my childhood friends. I had to call every one of them up the next morning and apologize on your behalf because it was so uncomfortable. After this, James Charles found the waiter on IG and began DMing him. I said, LOL, it's Sam the buster from John Howie. John Howie is a restaurant that we worked at. He replied with OMFG, and then I replied with LMAO. Then he asked me how I was, and then he, you can kind of read here, he's like, sorry about last night, you're very attractive. And then I responded with, it's all good, very flattering actually. After this, James and the waiter did end up meeting and according to the waiter, he couldn't classify their encounter as a bad one, but he definitely knew he was straight. And after that movie, he asked to kiss me. And I was very nervous because I had never done anything with a guy and I was bi curious, so I said yes. And we ended up making out for around an hour and if I'm being honest, he's the worst kisser I've ever kissed. Way too much time. Yeah, <laughs> but. Later, James wanted to fly him out to LA, but the waiter got a bit weirded out because by this time, he wasn't sure he was straight. So when he decided to turn down James's offer. And he wanted to fly me out to LA. And that kind of freaked me out because at that point, I. I was pretty sure I was straight. Now, James began pressuring him more and more to fly out and come see him, and even started telling the waiter that he was gay and that he was into him. This whole scandal would lead to James Charles losing over 1.2 million subs in just one day. That's a world record BTW. James would then lose a total of over 2.5 million subs in a span of just three days. His response to me was that he thought he didn't think that I was straight. He told me, you're not straight. Like, I, 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 I'll, I'll throw up the, the DM conversation right now. Right. Loves to make all these even worse. James Charles tweeted that he only likes straight guys. That's what I'm talking about. I was like, <laughs> okay, okay. That's but, what I'm but you're, like, but you're giving, you're not receiving. That's what it's different. You're, you're well, not, not I'm telling you. Oh, well, not always. I'm okay, saying okay, this okay. one particular, oh, oh, this yeah, one see, particular see. evening was, see, was see, just a giving, but I do lots of receiving as well. <laughs> um, this further just destroyed his reputation after Toddy exposed him. Now, this tweet in particular would seriously come back to bite James after he was pictured with Gage Gomez during Coachella. Fans quickly assumed the two were a couple, but James was quick to deny it in a tweet saying, nope, unfortunately, I am still very single. This boy played me for months on end and is a disgusting con artist. I'm thankful I had my friends with me to protect me. After this, it came out that James and Gage had been texting back and forth for over five months before going to Coachella together. This led people to start speculating that Gage was the guy that James had written the following tweet about months earlier. I officially give up. I am sitting sobbing in my hotel room at 8 a.m. when I have to be on set in an hour. This is no one's fault but my own because my dumb ass continues to go for the same type of insecure cute boys and it gets me hurt every single time. I effing hate myself. And that's when he got really sad and emotionally took to, to social media and his response to me was that he thought, he didn't think that I was straight. He told me, 
You're not straight. However, this turned out to be the waiter from Toddy's birthday. Now, after James took to Twitter to throw shade at Gage, he decided to come out with his side of the story and oh my, was it shocking loves. Gage exposed James for making advances at him despite knowing very well he was straight. According to Gage, the fact that he was straight was what made James want to be more and more interested in him. Gage recalled how James would make him feel uncomfortable and leading up to the infamous moment at Coachella, Gage had informed James that he he didn't want to go, but this just made James angrier and he just continued to accuse him of using him and James even began asking his friends to pressure Gage into agreeing to go to Coachella. After Gage called him out, James would come out and deny all claims. So I ended up going to Coachella, right? Because I thought it was going to be a good time. And it was. It was an awesome weekend. Hung out with all that. It was a blast. There were some points where I guess he was not sure how I was feeling, even though I was telling him the whole time I wasn't into... I guess you could say experimenting at that time. Um, he proceeded to get extremely upset with me because of that and kind of tried to play his emotions and push his emotions onto me to kind of guilt me into trying something. Um, that I didn't want to do. But amidst his drama with Tati, Zara Larson called out James for DMing her boyfriend knowing very well that he was in a relationship, let alone the fact that he had a girlfriend. Loves, this behavior from James even led to some celebs to unfollow him at that time. The people who unfollowed him were the likes of Kim K, Kylie, Miley Cyrus, Katy Perry, Iggy Azalea, and Shawn Mendes. Speaking of Shawn Mendes in particular, he and James Charles had an encounter back in 2018 after Shawn went on IG Live and began showing his juggling skills. While on the live, Sean was also reading the comments from his fans and generally having a good time. Well, that's until James joined the live. James commented on Sean's live asking Sean if he could juggle him like that. Sean appeared weirded out by that comment and quickly ended the live. Rumors quickly started spreading. It was because of James's comments. Now, these rumors became even wilder after We The Unicorns reported that during a secret album session, Shawn Mendes opened up about how he didn't like James Charles saying that. James was always commenting weird stuff on his posts like the one he did on his live. After these rumors started going super viral, James took to Twitter to say, my comments on friends and boys content have always been lighthearted and in a joking manner. I've been supporting Shawn Mendes since Vine and am a fan like anyone else and would never want to make anyone uncomfortable I'm upset, embarrassed, and sorry he felt sexually harassed. Y'all, Sean Mendez did come out and apologize to James Charles and made it clear he didn't say any of those things, but looking at all of these scandals, James Charles, you do see a pattern. Now, what do you guys think about this whole James Charles situation? Will anything happen with him or will he continue in his very creepy ways? Let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to check out my previous videos to ensure you are up to date with all the latest tea. Till next time, bye love!